Hey guys, welcome back to Yoshi's Crafted World on Switch. Last time we beat the game as Red Yoshi. We beat Baby Bowser and we unlocked a special world, which means it's time to go full circle back to my favorite Yoshi, Yellow Yoshi with his green shoes. I can't get over him. But before we go on to the special world, there's also the boss challenges that we have yet to mess around with. So, let us go to the very first boss, which was Tin Can Conduit. Let's see what that stuff's all about. Clear in under 125 without taking damage. Attach a magnet when the boss's face is red. Okay. Without taking damage, I'm pretty sure I could do. This is a very easy boss. I'm not sure how long it took for the first fight, but we will see. 125 doesn't sound too out of the question. And I'm not sure about attaching a magnet when its face is red. Let's see. All right. I don't even have a costume. It doesn't matter. First hit down in seven seconds. All right. And how long do the attack phases take? His face is red when he's doing that, but I don't have a magnet. Oh yeah, then there's this. Actually, I don't know, man. We're already at 30 seconds. Come on, buddy. Give me a magnet. Oh yeah, that's right, these guys come out. Get ready. There, his face is red. Okay, you gotta do it, I guess, when he's attacking. Can you do that? You probably can. Shoot a magnet up and get him while he's doing that attack. Two hits in 50 seconds. Wow, I have like no time at all for the third hit. I gotta get a magnet immediately. Let's go, bub. I don't know about this whole 125 thing. A little bit more challenging than I thought, apparently. Let's go with your twirling around. Is there a way to get a magnet early? Yeah, there's there's no way, man. I have five seconds, basically. Round up. I always round up in life. Like, I'm 31, but basically call it 32, because you might as well. What the heck? I lost the challenge if it was 125, right? Yeah. I tried to hit him while he was going by, but the magnet just didn't have enough arc. Well, I've got only one of those three new challenges. Good try, uh, good try anyway there, Yellow Yoshi. Yeah, no Yoshi noise. Wow, congratulations, you're terrible at a kid's game. How does it feel? Well, you know, Bob, I feel like dunking my head in acid, but we won't go there. Okay, back to you, Charlie. Who the heck is Charlie? Nobody knows who these people are. Let's move on to more important things. Uh, we gotta go... Oh, I didn't activate any of the levels. What was the closest thing to the special world? Solar Zoom, right? That's in the space area. Wait a second. No, this is Cheery Valley. I gotta move on up. And this is Shadow... Wait, no, it was backwards. I went the wrong way. Ah, yeah, yay. We're fumbling. Life is insane, but we are singing a song that's not grating to the ears at all. Just go. We're doing the special worlds. If it's anything like any previous Yoshi games, it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. Let's go, buddy. I got your 30 flowers. Open up. I'm fresh out of energy. Here you go. Eat some pollen and sneeze to death. Much like I've been doing in recent moons. More like in recent suns. Because at nighttime it's not so much. Look, he's got a little Mario Sunshine outfit. We're good as new. Ah, here we are. Mario Sunshine. Oh my, fresh out of energy once again. Oh, I gotta pay him more flowers per level. Rough rolling. Eight flowers, all right. Let's see how rough this rolling is, pray tell. Maybe bring a costume. Let's use, um... I don't know. We'll use this one. Why not? I don't like this costume, but we're using it. And we're not gonna think twice. It's all right. Bob Dylan said that. And it's a good song. It's a really good song. Yoshi! Hey, we got a new song, speaking of music. All right, what do you got for me, special Yoshi level? You got an egg. Whoa. All right, now we're hitting this. 
Okay. This might be one of those instances where every little thing is precious. Whoa, easy there. Okay, how are we gonna hit this? Oh, this game's aiming. Okay. So we gotta do it mid-hover. There it is. You know, this song's not as bad compared to some of the other ones. It's a little snazzy remix of the same annoying theme. Alright, I'm hitting you, man. Yeah! I may or may not have the hang of this mid-air egg throwing. But I do still miss the traditional Yoshi constantly moving reticle. I don't know why, maybe it's just I'm used to it. Get it, get it, don't you dare roll, don't you dare roll off! One of them was a red coin. That is the dumbest mechanic. I'm dead. Oh, I really am dead. Okay, so the special stages do not place you back to where you last fell off. This is a one, one hit wonder type thing. You gotta do it in one go. Alright, so we got some challenge that makes sense. Special, final special stages of Yoshi games are always kind of difficult. So costumes really don't even matter at all. Well, I guess you can still get hit by stuff. Alright, let's do this again. Oh, come on. Really? You know what? Just, just throw it away. Urgh. I'm a little too stressed to be playing this game right now, but what are you gonna do? You're gonna play it, and you're gonna finish it. That's what we're gonna do. We're so close, I can taste it. There's a little bass going on in the background. That's always appreciated. Up the bass, like the real bass. Like actual bass guitar, not like synthetic bass that people be bumping in the clubs. Or whatever the heck they do. See how much trouble I had aiming at that stupid cloud? I don't understand. Ay ay ay. Sorry, I'm a bit cranky all of a sudden. We don't bring such crank into a Yoshi game. It's because it's early springtime. That's what it is. I'm, I have the urge. I just want to... One of my favorite memories... I may have told this story before in some other Let's Play. But one time, I took a vinyl record, I put it in a backpack, and I got on a plane, and I went to New York City, and I just went to a show. And I had no idea how I was gonna get back home. I had, like, barely enough money for a plane ticket back. And barely any money, too, for, like, public transportation to get to the concert venue and everything. You better get these coins! That is the dumbest mechanic. Really? Oh my gosh. There's a thing that comes out of a horse that is very descriptive of such game mechanics. Actually, most living things dump this out of a certain receptacle. It's not even a receptacle, it's an exit only. Get it together, you dope. Jeez. But yeah, that is a dumb game mechanic, losing precious valuables. I saw something down there, don't act like I didn't see it. Anyway, long story short, I have the urge to just get up with the clothes on my back and go roaming. And I don't even know when I'm gonna come home. That's how I feel right now. I'm just sick and tired of living the same life over and over again. And with the, the, the fervor of spring in the air, I just want to get up and move. Wander. Wander until a life happens. I'm getting this. Don't act like I'm not. I don't have enough eggs. Of course. Hey, it's a challenge. But I've already foregone 100%. I don't have it in me, man. I'm like on the verge of a panic attack or something. I can just feel it. The antsiness. Everything in my body is like shaking. No? I could have sworn they would sneak a little flower. Wait a minute, I see it down there. Don't act like I don't. I don't know why I keep saying that all of a sudden. Come on! You're not missing it. Okay. Okay. It's a consolation prize for already failing 100%. 
I don't know, I could 100% a game when there's a point to it. Oh, what are we doing here? Okay, we're juggling left and right. Got it. But more often than not, 100%ing a game is the most pointless waste of time you could ever do. But when you're young and you have nothing better to do anyway, sure. I'm getting that. I don't know if I can stomp him and it'll still be there. It looked like it was slowly falling, but I did it. I missed that flower, yeah. And I missed a red coin. You know, it was the one that fell off because of that stupid mechanic. Coming out of the cloud just to fall down. Ah! Tell him, Yosh! See, he's happy. Good job, Yoshi. Rough rolling. It was kind of rough. There, There is definitely challenge there. I don't know if I care to get what I missed. It might send me over the edge. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, what are you going to do? All right, do we have enough? Is it 30 flowers again? Because if it is, I can get all three of these levels. Uh... Yeah, we can hide and seek that guy too. He's in there too. What do you got, buddy? I so desperately want 30 flowers. I desperately want things too, buddy, but you know what? Pay it forward. If I had any money, every time I go through a drive through I would pay for the person behind me. But I've only done that a handful of times, because money, money is a precious commodity. Here we are. Fresh out of energy again? Yeah, well, you know. That dude's got some serious depression. Take a step and then shut down for like nine weeks. Under siege. Like the, uh, that movie. With the dude and the guy. That's a good movie. Yeah. Yoshi! Same song. But I like it. Oh, we're getting that. Don't act like okay. Oh, when we trigger the alarm. Trigger the alarm. Alright, Gusty. No, you get no. Oh, the aiming. <laughs> it was necessary. We're restarting that nonsense. What is the movie? Under Siege. Who's the dude? He's the guy who's all full of himself and took karate, but doesn't look like he ever would last in a karate fight, but he does. Steven Seagal, that's what it is. And it also has Gary Busey in it. Right? Or maybe that's not... Yeah, he's like the chef. He dresses up as a woman in that movie. Gary Busey. There's a funny interview with him and David Letterman sometime after his motorcycle accident, where he talks about how they stitched up his head with helium and jelly beans. <laughs> it's actually kind of a funny interview. I like these retro Yoshi... It looks like Yoshi's, uh, yeah, Yoshi's Island type things in the background. Which I'm assuming are a souvenir hunt. That bell reminds me of the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 level school. They have to wall, uh, wall ride the bells. Speaking much. Sometimes it's hard. We're getting these apples. Don't act like it. Stop saying that. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Belly flop in midair. This costume's paying off, though. Get out of the way. I've been listening to a lot of Bruce Springsteen. I feel like I've been talking about him for a while, but I don't know. There's just some. Every now and then, I get on a music kick, man, or I just. I, ooh, we're gonna. Die. There goes the costume. It looked like garbage anyway. And we missed a red coin. And I have no eggs to throw at that thing. Well, I mean, kudos to them for putting some really challenging stages. Really, in quotations. It probably only takes a few tries to 100% these. That's really just video games as a whole. In the old days, it was all pattern memorization. They even made a movie about that. That Adam Sandler movie. Pixels, was it? That everybody hated, but... It really wasn't that bad. People just like to hate on Adam Sandler for some reason. But then I've also seen people say that he's really not a bad actor, he just chooses to be in these terrible movies. Like, he could pull off a serious role if he wanted to, I guess. 
But, I mean, I don't care about that either way. Why hate the guy? People just like to hate on things, I think. Yoshi! Well, that level... I kind of did middle of the road again. Yep, almost exactly equal to the previous stage. All right, so 30 flowers, because I can afford it. Come on, 30. Heck yeah! And I can pay another 30. What's beyond this, though? Enjoy happiness once again, dear sir. Oof, fresh out of energy. Oh man, that looks like a boss fight. Platform. Flopping and popping. Sounds dirty. Um. Better get a new costume. What do we want? Skelosaurus? You know, we never used this thing. Let's do it. It looks better than that other thing. Flopping and popping. I did that last Thursday. No, I don't even know. That was a dumb joke. Yoshi! All right. With your bazookas. Oh, that's the popping. And there's the flopping. No, ah, we missed. I. Oh, nim, nim, nim. Whatever. We're just here to experience it. Why demand perfection when there's no need to perfect it? That goes back to what I mentioned in some other thing long, long ago. I think it was a Wind Waker randomizer. I can't remember if it was my first seed or my second seed that I recorded. But I was talking about how some achievements in life carry more weight than others. So, for example, to say you 100% had crafted world before anybody else and were like the best Yoshi's crafted world player ever, is that really something to be proud of? Compared to, say, I don't know, opening your own business, saving a life, anything like that. <laughs> I don't know. It's just that constant adulthood nagging that's in the back of your brain being like, you know, you could be doing a lot more with your time, right? Whoa, this thing just... Yeah, that is definitely a Super Nintendo sprite of Kamek. I like it. Get back up there! Can we? Oh boy. Okay. I like these shy guys. Just hanging out. Oh! What are you doing? Oh, okay. Oh, we gotta break our way in here. That's kinda neat. Yes? I need an egg. Get back up there! Okay. Get in there, Yoshi. Okay, good job, Yoshi. Get all these eggs. Is this the way forward or the way... This looks like a secret area. Get out of my way, rotating block. There we go. It says to go up. Well, now I'm curious what's down at the bottom right. But I want to I wanna check this first. Because it really did take some effort to get up here. Does that bother anybody else, though, how expectations just keep on getting higher and higher? It's like the more you experience life, the greater your expectations are going to be. Annually. It's just going to... There's a constant pressure in society to improve. For example, like this. Finding that secret area... I, if this even is a secret area, I see a present. Hang on now. I don't know, I just remember back in the day playing Mario platforming games, like Mario 1, 2, and 3. Finding secret warp pipes and just secret rooms was like the most rewarding thing ever. But today it's like, oh yeah, we've seen this a hundred times, nobody cares. So we collected more coins and got some one-ups, big whoop. You know, like, there's no weight at all, you could just dismiss it. 
I'm gonna get more eggs. Since we have seen every egg counts at this point. I kind of feel like this might be the way forward. I maybe missed something down at the bottom right. I don't know, it's just annoying. How it doesn't even matter how amazing or novel your idea is. One day it's gonna be the most boring, been there, done that thing ever. And so then, really, at the end of the day, what are you? What are any of your accomplishments? Feeling defeated yet? <laughs> nah. It's my special ability, if you didn't know. Mr. Doom and Gloom. Don't bring that into a Yoshi game! What are you doing? It's the stress. That's what it is. We did good up until now, though. It's been happy. It's been kid-friendly. But this is the episode that if a parent overheard a five-year-old watching it, they'd be like, what the heck are you watching? Turn that off. Find somebody nicer, more suited for you. Watch Sponge... No, they wouldn't say watch Spongebob. Most parents hate Spongebob. I don't know. Yeah, boom. Bazooka Shy Guy for Smash. He should be in there. I'm telling you, they should make a Smash Brothers Minions. Of all just like the famous baddies of big Nintendo games. We don't need to go branching out into all the third party stuff. Like those old screenshots back in the N64 and Melee days. That had people like Fulgore from Killer Instinct in the Smash Brothers roster. As if that would work. Although, I don't know, they did end up bringing in Ryu and Ken. Which is kind of the same deal. You're... But it's like bringing Mortal Kombat characters into Smash Brothers. That seems like the dumbest decision ever. Just in terms of the... The maturity factor, I think? The gore of Mortal Kombat just does not fit with the colorful playfulness of Smash Brothers. And Killer Instinct kind of has that same motif to it. Same with people who would want a Joanna Dark and uh, Master Chief and stuff in Smash Brothers. But then again, they brought Snake, and all he wields is weaponry, and Samus, I guess you could argue. Man. That was a very tight blue coin challenge. That one actually would probably take a few attempts. Oh, I did it on my first try. You're stupid. Yes, yeah, shut up. <laughs> ah, I'm feisty, man. Don't bark at me, because I'll bark right back at you. I will, too. So go ahead, drop a comment. I'll fight you. No, I'm just kidding. I don't care. We're packing it up. Moving on. That's what we're doing. Flopping and popping. Well, the special stages got the better of me. What now? If it's 30 flowers to fight the boss, we'll, we could go do that. Because I have enough. That'd be crazy, because I, I just... I didn't even bother collecting souvenirs, practically. I just did them here and there and be like, Oh yeah, we should probably do that. Let's take a look. Oof, I'm fresh out of energy. I so desperately want 50 flowers. Oh, we gotta do some stuff. Oh, okay. Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. Can't do it. Well... Souvenirs or Poochie Pups? Either way... What do you gotta say? Souvenirs in Hidden Hills. I'd love some shrunk plastic baby Bowsers. In the first course. Well, I don't really feel like doing that. It's more than likely next time we will find some Poochie Pups, get up to 50 flowers, and see what that boss fight is all about. So sorry for the anger and the craziness. See you next time.